at a job in Buckeye. I'd like to go down and uh, videotaping a uh, uh, hobo Joe, but I'd had to backpack about five miles and I didn't want to do that. It's too hot to do that. But I just swung by here. This is big house, cocktails. Sometime in the 80s. Don't forget the wind. Sure it was. Some guy had gotten a dispute with the owner and uh, burnt the place down. That's the story that I heard. But I said that's been, the guy would be out of, uh, he's out of jail or dead by now. Let me see if I. My first video was all jerky stuff. I wanted to a conscious effort to uh, do a little bit of job this time. Now, I think of the Buckeye Hills. I'm going to go back out a little bit. I'm going to wander around here. I don't have my uh, tough boots on. But I'm going to go into the grass. I'm going to chill like wandering gypsy. Stick up and put my foot on a stick. So I might not look out like the way she did. And uh, this is uh, Buckeye Road or US 85. And the cross streets. The cross streets are uh, US 85 and Parabell Road. Let me see if I can zoom in on that sign. Pick up over there. Green Keith, probably, probably about 100, 105 rockers, something like that. Not as hot as a ton of get. Not great time here. Buildings. I want to remember for thin steel buildings. These trees have grown up since the buildings have burned down. There's the other one over there. I'm going to get it very quickly. Being careful how I walk on the grass. Well, this what critter holes down here. I don't know quite what critters. Oh, I probably want this pile of concrete over there. And that's, if I can get those, that's a white tank mountain range. Quite a ways north there, actually. Sometime when it cools down, I'm going to get in there and get some video. I'd like to get back in where the waterfall's at. It's not during the summertime, but uh, I've never actually seen it. I've been here all my life. I hiked in there once, or twice, and I've never seen that waterfall. I'm thinking back to the Buckeye, Buckeye Hills, but that may be the south end of the... Uh, wait a minute, let me see. Yeah, I can see them way off the distance. I don't want to get on the camera. I think that's the Buckeye Hills right up there. But you can see them. They're quite a way south. They're close to where the Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station is at. It's another place on my bucket list, and I need to get the photo pass on there. Did you see it? Did you get that with coat and tour? I go around the mountains, I go by my saddle mountain out there to see if the old witch, the, old, the Toto Paul witch cave was still out there. And uh, yeah, I tend to get out there somehow. I'm just haven't done it. Yeah, some people tell me the Toto Paul witch is not real. Uh, maybe she is, maybe she's not. I don't know. I, I, I go back maybe a year, a couple of years, I've got to start the Toto Paul witch and who I see what, what I think she is. And, uh, Different stories, different about who you're talking to. Whether she's just some hippie chick that went out there and dropped acid, or she's somebody that was born in uh, either Santa Fe, New Mexico, or uh, somewhere there in the oh, uh, well, it's a, that little island that she's supposed to have sank. But uh, I, she might be thousands of years old. Can't tell you! I may be, uh, I may or, may, may or may not be held to a gentleman's agreement with someone. I may or may not be, I can't tell you that. Okay, bye-bye.